Hi, and welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course, and in this module, we'll be looking at the HTML viewer. Now, as the name implies, it allows you to view HTML with inside of a Power BI report. So it basically will take the HTML that you have inside of a data set and show it in its original style and formatting that the HTML dictates. There are some minor formatting and a few things that you can apply after the fact. So you can change the color of the text, you can increase the size of the text, you can change the alignment of the text if you wanted to. That's built into the formatting section of the visual. But for the most part, it's going to display the text as it appears in the HTML. It's a pretty simple one. This will be a short module this time. But let's go ahead and take a look at how you can get started with the HTML viewer in a sample that I have. All right, so in this example, we're going to start by pulling in some data that I have from my blog. My blog has in it several blogs. Uh, obviously, this is actually a post that I would normally put in my blog as well. But I can go and actually pull some information that I have from my blog from a Excel file that I have. So I'm going to go up to the data section and select Excel. I'm then going to find this blog HTML. T, uh, <laughs> it's a workbook here, Excel workbook, XLSX, and I'll hit open. Then I'll find the spreadsheet inside of that workbook that has my data called HTML text. And you'll notice it looks like my column headers did not come through correctly. So rather than hit load right away, I'm going to click edit. Now this is going to launch open the query editor inside of the Power BI desktop. And really the only small change I need to make to this is tell it that I want to use the first row as the header section here. So I'm going to push that up into the headers. All right, once you got that, it should be good to go. I'll go ahead and hit close and apply. Usually it will detect those headers automatically. In this case, it did not. And then now we're ready to go ahead and take and display this information from, in this case, my blog on my Power BI report. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by going to the uh, custom visual store up at the top here. You'll see from store as an option. And to find this visual, I'm going to search in the top left just for HTML to hopefully find it pretty quickly. And you can see HTML viewer is the only one that returns back as of this moment. So I'll select add to get the HTML viewer brought into my custom visuals and my, my visualization pane here on the right hand side. We should see it pop up here in a moment. And once it does, we can then start to apply and put our data into it. There it goes. All right, so we've got the HTML viewer. I'll go ahead and place that in here. And then I want to use this a little bit differently. I'm going to make this a little bit larger, maybe to have it take up about half the screen here. And before we actually start to place anything in it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in some slicers based on the categories of the data that I have. So I'm going to bring in the, I'm going to click somewhere away from the HTML viewer for a moment, and I'm going to select topic. And I'm going to bring in category and also HTML inside of a table. So you can see what this information looks like when it's brought into a table. When it's inside of a table, you can see the HTML is just presented inside of the table as it's shown, just like it's regular text. And it doesn't really apply formatting and display the text like you would anticipate it would inside of the blog that it's pulling from. So it's kind of sloppy. It's not very easy to see and really interact with HTML data with the native ways that you have available. Now, you can hover above, and it'll kind of show you the full information, as you can see there. But again, it's all in HTML, so you're not really getting a whole lot of uh, information out of what you're seeing here. All right, so I'm going to leave that there just so you can compare and see the difference where uh, what it would look like when you bring it in as regular text versus the HTML viewer we're going to do in here in a moment. I also, like I said a moment ago, want to bring in some slicers. So I'm going to select a slicer after I click somewhere in the background here. And let's choose topic, so that way I can kind of toggle back and forth between each of the topics. So I can select Timeline Storyteller, or I can select the Text Search Slicer, and I can see how it changes the selection up in the table, and eventually it's going to change the selection here inside of the HTML viewer. All right, I'm going to go ahead and bump up the text size of the slicer here for a moment. So I'm going to go underneath the Item section and bump up the text size of that a little bit so we can actually see what we're selecting here. Now, inside the HTML viewer, we'll go ahead and select the HTML viewer now. And we'll go to the field well here and select underneath the category section. We want to drop in the HTML. So this, this category should be whatever HTML it is that you want to present inside of Power BI. So if I were to drag and drop this into the category section, you'll see that immediately it picks up any images that I have. It picks up multiple blog posts that I have. So seeing that this is all within inside of one data set, I'm looking at a total of four blogs here at one time and one HTML viewer. And um, I have some flexibility now, though. If I wanted to, I can use the slicer I have on the left-hand side, and I can select things like the Timeline Storyteller, and it'll take me straight to that blog. Or I can select something like the Text Search Slicer, and it'll take me directly to that blog. And you'll notice, even though it's using GIFs or GIFs, whatever your preferred way of saying it is, you're seeing that it even brings in that interaction of the images and the uh, interactive images here as well. So it's brought all that information across for me. 
So that looks great. Now what I'd like to do is I also want to show you some of the things that you can do in the formatting section. So I'm going to go uh, select the HTML viewer and then go underneath the format paintbrush here. And you'll see there's a content formatting section that you have available to you underneath the format paintbrush. I'll expand that and show you the brief few things that you can actually do in here. One you'll see is there's an option in here that's called show as HTML, which kind of is falling off the screen here a little bit. So you can see it there. And right now that's turned on by default, but you could turn that off. And basically what this would allow you to do is have this as just a plain text viewer if you wanted to. So if I turn that off, you'll see that it still brings things around. It just does not show them in kind of the HTML formatted view like we would hope it would. And then um, in that case, if you do something like that, then it's still going to bring the information across. It's just not going to have it formatted based on what the HTML di dictated. Now, when you do that, you can then also come and, and tell it that you want to do certain text alignment. So if you want to center everything, you can do that. If you want to right align everything, you can do that. You do have some capabilities within inside of here to adjust things. You can also change the text color if you wanted to. So if you wanted to choose a color outside of what was uh, available by default, you can change that. Hopefully you're not choosing some awful color like I just did. And then maybe something that is more relevant though is you can also bump up the text size of all the values. So if you actually want to make it readable, you can bump up the text size some and be able to make it so that it is much more clear and uh, what is displaying to the users. Okay. Now that uh, text size is relative, so it depends on which text you're looking at, how much it increases it. So it increased my headers quite a bit. It increased the bullets I have below as well, but it's, you know, obviously the bullets were a lower text size to begin with, so it doesn't look like it increased them nearly as much as it did the larger ones. All right. So that's really it for this one. The text viewer, our HTML viewer, is pretty simple to do. You just basically place in your HTML field that you have. And then if you have something where you can actually kind of toggle back and forth between each of the values that you want, you can do that. I could even, to, if I wanted to, bring in something like a category here if I wanted to and make that into another slicer. And then this would allow me to slice just by particular categories of blogs if I wanted to. And of course, I can bump up the text size of this one as well and make that a little easier to read. And then all I have, now I can just kind of interact with it and interact with the HTML viewer and the items that I have around it to be able to get to the information that I care about most. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. It's a nice uh, short one, but it is effective whenever you have HTML that you want to be able to display inside of your reports. All right, you guys have a good one and hope you guys enjoy this one.